Manoj Preshta. You are watching the Excellent Education channel and in this channel you will be getting a lots of lectures related to the mathematics. The second video of population growth and in this lecture I will be talking about how to solve the problems related to the uh, population growth. And here is the question, question number one. Now the present population of a city is 1 lakhs 5840 this is the present population given if the population increases every year by 5% this is r everyone it's very easy what was the population of a city before before 2 years now important before 2 years now 2 years this is time it's very easy now only you need to know is p and pt as i said in my previous video now see in previous video what I said now P now our formula is very simple this is PT equals to P 1 plus as here is the increase in population so plus R by 100 whole power P this is your formula and here P is previous population PT is future population now let's identify here which one is P and which one is PT now here the present population is this one and this is the population before before two years means this before two years means this is the previous one that is what now this is previous one this is previous one means previous is p p equals to what and this of this is obviously pt because this is the final one okay now it is very simple so pt equals to one lakhs five thousand eight hundred forty because it is the present population and this is before before means previous you have to find so of course this is p equals to what and time is 2 years, r equals to 5 percent. So simple using pt equals to p 1 plus r by 100 power t. Let's substitute the value. So pt equals to this value, let's substitute here, equals to p is p we need to calculate. And 1 plus r means 5, whole divided by 100, whole power 2. Okay, now if you calculate this in your calculator, you will get 1.1025. Okay, and this is as it is. And this goes in the denominator. So finally, p equals to... 96,000 so hence the population before two years was 96,000 okay now let's do next question now question number two is the present population of a town is 2,16,000 and it is increased every year by 20% find the population after two years now here is also same problem Okay, now see here T, this is R is obvious, the time T is obvious, now only you have to identify is P or PT. Okay, now see, look at it. Now here is the present population of a town, this is present population of a town is given and you are asked to find the population after two years. After two years means it's in future. It is in future. So future means obviously it is the final, final population. So this is PT and this is P. Because in future you have to calculate. After two years, future means it is of course final population. And the next one is the previous one. Okay. Now see here the P equals to 2 lakh 16,000 and time equals to 2 years and rate is 20 percent and you know the formula PT it is increased so there is plus P 1 plus R by 100 power T so let's substitute value P equals to 2 lakh 16,000 and this is 1 plus 20 divided by 100 whole power T now if you calculate this value in a calculator it gives you 1.44 so 2 lakh 16,000 into 1.44 equals to this is 3 lakhs 11,040 Hence, your populations after two years will be 3,11,040. Okay, now let's do question number three. Okay, here is question number three. In question number three, in the beginning of 2072, become summer, the population of a town was 50,000. If the annual population growth rate is 10%, what will be the population of the town? at the end of 2074 okay now here is our again now here this is one and the this is very simple this is r r is 10 percent per annum and here time now see here time p and pt now let's discuss 
on it, okay? Now see for time. Time it is starting from beginning of 2072 to the end of 2074. Now let's see how many years are there. Now see, beginning of 72 to beginning of 73, one year. Beginning of 73 to beginning of 74, one year. And beginning of 74 to end of 74, there is another one year. So there is altogether three years. Okay, our time is three years. So be careful when you are finding this one. Okay, if instead of seeing the end of 74, if they say the beginning of 74, then there will be only two years. Okay, now see, now the most important part is this 50,000. What is this 50,000? It is P or PT. It's very simple. Now see, it is at the end of 2074. Of course, this is the 72 population. This is 74. We need to calculate. So this is the final population. That means we need to find PT and this is the previous population P. Now by using the simple formula as before, you can calculate is Now say simple, PT equals to this one. Now this value is substituting. And finally, you will get this value. Okay, hence the populations at the end of 2074 will be, yeah, will be 66,555, 66,550. Okay, now let's do the next question. Okay, now question number four is, the population of a village is 20,000. If the population is increased by 5%, 10%, and 4%, at the end of first year, second year, and third year, respectively, calculate the populations of it after three years. Now it's so easy. Now after three years means of course you have to find the final population, and that is PT equals to what? And this is of course given is the previous population, so P equals to twenty thousand. Now as I have already told, there are three rates. Now see. This is 5%, 10%, and 4%. Three rates are the consecutive years. First year, second year, third year. And in my previous video, I have discussed there. If three rates in the consecutive years are given, then our formula is PT equals to P1 plus R1 by 100 into 1 plus R2 by 100 into 1 plus R3 by 100. Now, let's substitute the value. P is 20,000. 1 plus R1 is 5 by 100. Plus 1 plus R2 means 10 by 100 and 1 plus R3 means 4 by 100. Now 20,000, when you, if you calculate it, 1.05, calculate it, 1.1 and this gives 1.04. If you calculate whole at once, it gives you 24,024 is the populations after 3 years. Okay, now let's do question number 5. Now question number 5 is, the birth rate of a village is 9% per annum and the death rate is 4% per annum. At the end of two years, the population of the village was 10,000 if 1,025 were migrated to the other places. What was the population of the before at the beginning? Okay, now see, this is, now here the birth rate, now this is given the birth rate, the birth rate is 9%. And this is given is the death rate now so the death rate is four percent and from these two now see the birth rate is greater than the death rate so you have increased the population okay so our growth rate is nine minus four is five percent in this case if the now see if birth is four percent and let's say death if there is death is nine percent then there will be decrease in population what is this is decreasing decrease in rate decrease in rate this will be 9 minus 4 equals to 5 percent when there is decrease in rate then your your formula should be minus here it is growth because birth is greater than death so we write plus here but if the death is greater than birth then you should write minus here because there will be the decrease in population okay now now here the growth rate is this one and now the most important part now see here here 1025 e were migrated to the other places that means it is the migration out so migration out m out equals to 1025 and one first now see there is uh, 10,000 this was what at the end of the two years the populations of the village now this is the at the end of the two years is 10,000 and you are asked at the beginning so at the beginning this is the previous population because this is at the beginning 
this is the previous one and this is at the end this is the final one so this is pt and this is p so you are asked to find is the previous populations p equals to what and pt is 10000 so using the formula now see there is as i have told in my previous lectures the formula if there is m out you have to include m out and m out means going outside so it is minus here okay so our formula is pt equals to p 1 plus r by 100 power t minus m out so let's substitute the value this pt is 10000 and p you need to calculate 1 plus r means 5 divided by 100 whole power 2 minus 1025 so this 1025 it comes here because this and these are like terms so you can add with this 10,000s it gives you 11,025 equals to p and 1 plus this is 5 by 100 power whole 2 if you calculate it it gives you 1.1025 in your calculator so p equals to this whole divided by this value finally it gives you the 10,000 okay so hence the population of the village at the end at the beginning was 10,000 hope you have understood my lecture thank you for watching my video if you want the other more videos in your upcoming days please subscribe my channels and don't forget to click in the bell button so that you will get the notifications of every upcoming videos if you like my if you like this video please click on the like button and if you have any comments please keep comments on the comment box uh, thank you once again see you in the next video bye bye